our job is really important to give them gas and keep them in the air as long as possible. A 60-year-old tanker takes off from McDill Air Force Base for an important training mission. In formation right now, right behind us. It's a mission 24,000 feet high with speeds of more than 350 miles per hour. You just got to be ready for anything, any place. You're going to be refueling here in different areas all the time. The crew head north towards the Panhandle, then loom over the Gulf. This humongous plane, a flying refueling station. They're here to refuel fighter jets. We were refueling uh, six F-22s um, up there from uh, Tyndall Air Force Base and just uh, get them some gas and go up and do some training. It's all very precise. One by one, each jet hooks up to the back of the tanker. Lying down, Tech Sergeant James Kuiper lowers the boom. And within minutes, he unloads a thousand gallons of fuel. All right, that's 6K. All right, you got your offload. Yes, sir. And while this trip may be for training exercises, crews are using similar tankers in the Middle East and Guam. They're refueling bombers and jets for critical missions all around the world. There's only so far that those bombers and those fighter aircraft can go without a tanker. That, that airplane that you see out there, that 60-year-old airplane, is an enabling our ability to fight the war around the world. You just can't go anywhere without them. And this sort of training at McDill Chinese dropping down. plays a big role in that mission. Drink 500 pounds out. In Tampa, I'm Dahlia Dangerfield, Bay News 9.